everybody. Hello. Hi. Welcome as you all come in this morning. Hopefully you've had a lovely morning and you've had a lovely week. Hopefully it's been full of fun. I wonder what you've been up to. Have you had a good day? Did you go out? Maybe you had a picnic? Maybe you went back to school this week? I wonder what your week has been like. I wonder if you watched your favourite film, maybe. Maybe you read a book. What have you been up to this week? I've just remembered I need to turn my phone on mute so that it doesn't do that. There we go. Excellent. So that you don't get any nasty vibration sounds as we try and do our, our children's corner this morning. So what we're going to do this morning as we all gather together and we come together, what I thought we'd do is we would play a game. Because today's session, today's story is all about an instruction that Jesus gives us, a task that he tells us to do. So I thought we would play Simon Says. For those of you that know the game, get yourselves ready. For those of you that don't know the game, what you do is I am going to be, I'm going to be Simon and Simon is going to tell you to do something. Simon might say jump up and down. He might say shake your head. He might say uh, close your eyes. But if I tell you to do something that Simon hasn't told you to do, wave. The challenge is to remember not to do it. We're only doing the thing that, that Simon tells us to do. So, are you ready? Simon says, wave. Simon says, touch your head. Simon says, close your eyes. Simon says, touch your knees. Simon says, stick out your tongue. Clap. <gasps> Did you clap? Uh-oh. Simon didn't tell you to clap. I clapped. Are we ready? Uh, we'll do it again. Simon says, thumbs up. Simon says, touch your nose. Your nose. Simon says, stick out your tongue. Simon says, turn around. Simon says, jump up and down. Nod your head. Did anyone nod their heads? We'll do it one more time, shall we? Uh, Simon says, touch your elbow. Simon says, touch your fingers. Simon says, touch your knees. Hands on your hips. <gasps> I did it too! <laughs> well, you could keep playing Simon Says throughout the day if you like. You might want to get, get some brothers and sisters or maybe you even want to do it with your toys or your teddies. We'll see what you can do. But today's story involves Jesus telling the disciples an instruction. But before we start our story, because I need a hand telling the story, I've got someone I'd like you to meet. Now, my friend, he's very colourful. He's very noisy. He loves to tell jokes. They're not always their greatest, but we laugh anyway. And uh, he's very friendly. He likes to make people smile. And he's here today to help tell my story with you my story for you. So are we ready to welcome my friend? Are you ready? Are you ready down there? You've been hiding in the wings haven't you? Are you ready? Oh! Yes you are, you're very happy to be here. Fizz won't stop going on about it. Well that's good news, that's good news. Would you like to tell them your name? Who's them? Well we're recording, can you see that? Can you see the red light? You see the red light? Yes, so we're recording and they're watching. So would you like to tell them their name? Your name? Flame, yes, your name is Flame, isn't it? And you are a macaw. A macaw. Macaw. Yes, you like yes. Yes, you are a macaw. And you like to tell jokes. Yes, I know you do. I wondered whether you'd like to tell us a joke to begin with. Would you? Why do giraffes have such long necks? I don't know. Why do giraffes have such long necks? Because they have smelly feet. Oh, that's 
that's quite funny. That is quite funny. You've got another one. Okay. How do the... How do... How... What? Oh. How do the oceans say hello to each other? I see. They wave. Is that... Is that funny? Is that funny? You like that? You make yourself laugh. Excellent. Well, I hope he made you laugh this morning. You like making people smile, don't you, Flame? Yeah. Excellent. So, I wonder, would you like to help me say our opening prayer? Yeah. Excellent. So, what, you're going to follow my hand, because we have to do some actions. Ah! Yes, I know. Are you ready? Okay. Focus. 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 Are you focusing? Excellent. You ready? From the top of my head to the tips of my toes. From the lobes of my ears to the end of my nose. From my knobbly knees to my wiggly hands. God loves me. And you, absolutely. And you back home, absolutely, Flame. He does. He does indeed. He does. So, you're here to do what, Flame? Help me tell the story, exactly. And we had a little rehearsal earlier, didn't we? We did. And you know what you've got to do. Are you ready? You need the boxes. You do need the boxes. Well done. So, shall we get the boxes lined up ready? So, how many do you remember? Do you, how many do you have? Do you remember? Six. Right. Oh, we have to move back a little bit, Flame. There you go. Right. One box. What's number two box? Number three box. They're very close. Yes, I know they're very close. That's the point, isn't it? Yes. Oh, oh. Four. Number four, you're right. What's this one? Five. Can you see? I mean, it's quite... <laughs> I mean, you'll, you just have to wait. But you're... I, 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 you know, ready? We've got to tell the story, haven't we? I know, you know, you wait. You wait there. Yes. Now, in today's story, it's all about how Jesus gave his disciples... <laughs> flame. Jesus gave his disciples a task, an instruction, to go and share the message of God all over the world. But it wasn't very easy to do. Excuse me. Thank you. Sorry, yes, yes. It wasn't very easy to do because they were a little bit nervous. A little bit nervous about how they were going to do it. But they knew that the good news of God and his forgiveness and his love needed to go all over the world so that the world could start to be filled with his kindness and his love and doing the right thing. Excuse me? Sorry, I know. Right. I'll get there. Right. Shall we start the story then? Okay, right. So, remember, their challenge is to go and spread the good news all around the world, but they're a little bit anxious. So, shall we hear what Jesus says? Yes. Okay, excellent. Jesus gathered his 12 disciples together. He sent them out and gave them a task. He said, don't, don't go to Gentile or Samaritan towns, but go to the people of Israel, for they are like a flock of lost sheep. Basically, they needed their help. To tell people, go and tell people about the good news, about the kingdom of heaven, about God and all of the things he tells us are good for us. Cure the sick, help those who are ill with diseases, send out demons. You have been given all of this freely. You have been given all the love and the good things, the grace of God. And our faith means there is no payment. It's freely given. So now, you, the disciples, you have to go out and do all of this work. Go and share the good news. Go and help people, cure people, be kind and spread the message of God freely with no payment. Because that's how it happened for you. Now, I think their faces must have been very worried. Because Jesus says, he's reassuring them. He says, don't worry. You won't need gold. So we're going to knock our box off. Because sometimes when we go on a 
we have a task, don't we? We think we need things. So all of these boxes are things we might think we need to do this task. Like the disciples, where they were worried. They thought, oh, we're going to need everything. In order to share this news around the world, we're going to need so much stuff. But no, Jesus says, you don't. So we're going to take off our first one. Can you get rid of it, Flame? Can you jump? Can you fly? Oh, we won't need gold. Jesus says we don't need gold. We won't need silver. Oh, that's the other one. Well done. Oh, hello. Hello. Um, you don't need to take a travelling bag with you. Thank you. You don't need an extra shirt. Thank you. Oh, oh is this, would you like a hand? No? Okay. Excellent. You did it. Yes, you did. Well done. Congratulations. Well done. You don't need to take sandals with you. Oh, and that's that one gone. And he says, you don't need to take a walking stick. Oh, excellent. All oh, the boxes have gone. Exactly. Exactly. You don't need to take all those things with you. You don't need any of them. You don't. When you go to a town, find the people who are good people. And stay with them until you're ready to move on. If you enter a home, bless it with your peace. And if someone doesn't welcome you or want you or make that known to you, leave at once and just keep going. Mm, exactly. I am sending you out, Jesus says. I'm sending you out so that you'll need to be as wise as snakes and as innocent as a dove. But don't worry. Don't worry. All the things you'll need will be given to you by the Holy Spirit. God will be with you. So don't worry about what to say or how to act. God is with you. I know. How it is. It's very cool to have God as a friend, isn't it? Who's with you always. Yeah, absolutely. So what happened in our story? What were the disciples worrying about, Flame? They didn't know what they would need to take with them to share God, God's news, the good news, the message. Absolutely. They didn't know, did they? So what did Jesus say? He said, go out into the world, share my news. Yeah. But you don't need anything. God is with you. God is with you. And after all those boxes have gone flame, what's left? What's left? What's left? <coughs> Nothing. Well, that's not quite true, is it, Flame? Is it? What's left? You're left, Flame. <coughs> I know. When we got rid of all those boxes and the things that we thought we would need, actually, we uncovered Flame, didn't we? He was hiding. He was stuck behind all those boxes. And we uncovered him because we don't need anything fancy. No, we don't, do we? That's what Jesus said. We don't need a kit list like we're going on camp. We don't need uh, all the things that we think that we might need. We don't. All we need is God. And Jesus is with us. He promises us that. God is with us always to the ends of time. And so that's all we need. You... Yes, you and God, ourselves. We are all we need to help spread God's message all around the world. <laughs> That's a bit scary. It is, isn't it? It is a bit scary, but we know that God is with us always, always there, helping and guiding. And that means that we will have the words to speak and the actions to do, the things that we know. It's quite hard to know what to do. You're right. You're right, Flame. It is quite hard to know what to do sometimes, isn't it? But do you know what? Here's a little secret. That's why we pray. That is why we pray. We pray because when we pray, something very cool happens. Our things that we think are important kind of disappear. And the things that God thinks are important come into our minds and our hearts. And so actually, that's how we know what to do and where to go and who to talk to. That's how we know, because God puts it in our minds and on our hearts as we pray and ask God to help us. So 
all we need to go and change the world for God and spread his message all over the kingdom is ourselves, you, <coughs> yeah, you, and God. And as we pray to God, he helps us and he makes us. He helps us to know where to go, what to do and how to act, doesn't he? How to follow him better and help others to do the same. So, it's still hard. I know it's still hard. It is still hard. But I've got an activity that might help us. So, what you'll need to do today is you'll need a piece of paper and you'll need something like a pen or maybe some colouring pencils or something where you can draw on your paper. You like to get messy. Well, if you'd like to be messy like Flame and do some painting, you could do that too. Yes. Yeah, yes. I know painting is the best. I know. It looks like my feathers. I know. I know. You like being very colourful. You like being... Yes, I know. You just like getting messy. Can we... You want to go outside to do it? I see. Yeah, okay. Well, if you want to get the paint out, we can go outside to do it. Okay. But can I tell them about the activity first? Yes. Excellent. Sorry about that, guys. Now, what we need to do is I want you to think about how we follow Jesus. And we follow people with our feet, don't we? We follow people with our feet. And so what we're going to do is we're going to draw around our feet. Or if you're going to be like Flame, you can footprint on your piece of paper. You can paint your feet. I know. You can paint your feet and then you can stick it on the piece of paper and then it looks like footprints, doesn't it? But for every footprint you draw around, every one you do, every one you follow, whether you're walking on the paper, whether you're drawing it, whether whatever you're doing, I know you want to walk on the paper with paint. After you've done that, have a think. How many footsteps did you do? How many footsteps did you make? And how many different ways can you think of to help share God's message all over the world? Maybe it's acts of kindness. Maybe it's saving up pocket money and giving it to charities. Maybe it's praying. How many different ways can you think of to share God's love and God's message all over the world? How many different ways can you think of doing that? Maybe it's at home. Maybe it's being kind and thoughtful and thinking of others. Maybe it's out at school. Maybe it's as you're walking, you can smile at people or tell them jokes. Yes, that, that, that is true. Or tell them jokes to make their day a little bit brighter. We can all do that, can't we? So that's your challenge for today. We're going to go and footprint just like that out in the garden. And you'd like to tell a joke. OK, so can we pray first and then you tell the joke? Excellent. So if you want to, close your eyes and get ready to pray. Well done, Flame. And remember, this is the time between you and God. You can tell God anything always. So have a think. What would you like to tell God this morning? Dear God, thank you that we can talk to you about anything. Thank you that you help us to share your message around the world. Help us to live by your word. Help us to live like you want to live. Help us to talk and speak to people the way you want us to talk and speak to people. And help us to tell the world that love, kindness, doing the right thing, justice, sharing, they are all part of your kingdom and the world would be better with that with those values amen good well done fame well done good amen now what joke did you want to tell us have you got one is it a good one the best okay shall we see what flame's got to offer What do you get if you cross a fish with an elephant? What do you get if you cross a fish with an elephant? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
swimming trunks. <laughs> Was that funny? I mean, you can stop. I mean, you said the joke. You can't laugh that hard at your own joke. Your own joke. Yes, you can. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, I hope you enjoyed our hilarious macaw. Yes, flame this morning and the jokes that came with. We've enjoyed being with you very much. And now we're going to go and paint your right flame. Have a lovely Sunday wherever you are and we'll see you very soon. Bye bye everybody.